It's another cold morning here. Probably got some super coffee to warm me up. Also my bright light device to keep me awake. I feel kind of overwhelmed right now just thinking about how, you know they say food's healthy for you, but food, all it is is information. It's just information for your body to know and your cells to know what genes to turn on. What I'm seeing right now is information. What I hear right now is information. What I read is information. You are the information that you absorb. So you're the food information that you absorb. You are the physical information that you absorb that when you experience the world and you remember an event, when you have a dopaminergic experience, your brain remembers that behavior. When your hippocampus learns things, you are that information that you absorb, you become that. Just like the nutrients and the food that turns on the gene pathways, you are that information that you absorb. Just as simple as it seems, you're also what you don't absorb. If you have a candida infection and you're not absorbing B vitamins or you have a mental block on something, you have too much ammonia in your brain and you can't uh, remember something, you aren't that information. You don't absorb it. Not even doing anything. So that's why changing epigenetics is very important. Things like histone deacylase inhibitors, changing how the DNA transcribes. So things like being in ketosis, cyclic ketosis, taking butyrate or enhancing butyrate production in your body, meditation has been known to change gene expression. I cut myself shaving. Look at that, right there. Ow. Oh. And now I'm off to drive again. All right, so look at what the car just did. I turned it on. Oh, okay, it's fine now. But, but before it was like And like, first world problems. Hey, bro. Who's eating that? Um, oh, you got something in your eye too. I had something <laughs> in my eye yesterday. Turkey. Turkey gives you uh, pink eye. It's, uh, the fun fact for the day is that turkey gives you pink eye. It's my parents' house here. They got a nice view of the water and it's it's beautiful out right now, actually. If you take a look out there, look at that that sun. Am I, am I hitting it? Somewhere over there? Yeah. And so, let's just chill. Let's play the game of how long can you chill? I used to play this back in college, how long can you chill? Just start chilling, like. You said don't film the crap over where? Back, back there? All right, so we're gonna make chicken and zucchini noodles. So first you need chicken, then you need zucchini, and then you need noodles. So you need chicken, zucchini, onions, garlic, coconut oil, Himalayan sea salt, scissors. Oh. <laughs> we'll talk about the kind of pot this is. What kind of pot is that? Sativa or indica? Green. Green? Mm -hmm. That's a green pot. Look at that green pot. A green pan. Look how green that pan is. <laughs> That's too hot. Broccoli, most people don't know, is probably a superfood. This fluffy part up here. When you chew it, so there's a chemical reaction that happens when you chew it. Broccoli has sulforaphane in it, and that turns on different genetic pathways, like NRF2, which is good for your brain. Whoa, this just turned to cauliflower out of nowhere. Well, there you have it, guys. That's another day of living healthy every day. Be sure to subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. And if you like this video, like it below and share it. Thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful.